Well, the upset of the century. That's what residents and students of Bowling Green are hoping for this Saturday when the Fighting Falcons take on the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Both teams are coming off opening day victories. The Buckeyes are ranked 22nd in the country. The last time the Buckeyes played another Ohio team, it was 1934, when the Buckeyes beat Western Reserve 76 to nothing. Some 7 to 8,000 Bowling Green fans are expected to attend. Bowling Green is sold out of tickets for the game, but for more information, you can call 1-800-GO-BUCKS. Well, I don't know about you, Ray, but I'm thinking 1-800-NO-BUCKS. I don't know about how they think about that in Columbus. We're going to talk football in a little bit, but right now we're going to talk ladies volleyball. Well, after finishing 2-1 and one in the Brown and Orange Invitational, the Lady Falcons got back on the winning track last night, cruising past Wright State. Let's go to Anderson Arena, where we will see some action. This is Mitzi Sanders getting one of her 16 kills on the game. Nikki Mudrak would add 15 for herself on the way to Bowling Green beating Wright State. The Raiders falling in three straight games, 15-13, 15-10, and 15-7. With the win, the Falcons improved to 3-1 and, and next travel to the University of Wisconsin to compete in the Badger Classic. But before the Lady Falcons shut out the Raiders, there was some unfinished business to take care of. It was time to officially close the book on the 1991 season by raising the MAC championship and NCAA banners. After finishing 19th in the nation last year, the schedule has become even more challenging. Most coaches will agree it's defense that wins football games, and if Bowling Green plans to win more football games, it will have to improve on the 19 points it gave up to Western Michigan. Sean McClintock looks at the changes the defense has gone through since that magical day last December. A terrific defensive stand to secure Cal Bowl 11 answered all the questions doubters had about how good BG really was. But as a new year begins, it's the defense that's now being questioned. The whole question of how good we'll be defensively will depend on how well we gel in the defensive line. We, let, we lost some uh, tremendous players from a year ago. We had three seniors who had a lot of experience and played hard and made a lot of plays for us. But we, and the guys up front are big and strong and, and they play hard and uh, they just need some game experience. And two of them, uh, Clint Frazier and Bob Dudley, did get quite a bit of experience a year ago. So we think we're in a lot better shape there than it might look. To while the entire front three are new, the linebacking faces remain the same, with the exception and the addition of Achille Hutchinson. Achille Hutchinson, who redshirted a year ago, is going to be playing an outside linebacker position, uh, or will linebacker position, uh, the position that Artie Mangum played last year. Uh, with the ability to move Artie to the inside linebacker position, it really helps us, because now people can't run away from Artie Mangum. He's going to be a guy that's going to be able to run sideline to sideline and really be more active in our defense. Uh, with nearly an entirely new defensive line and realignment of the linebackers, strength and consistency will be in the secondary. And that's where you find the killer bees, Burris. Brooks, Walensky, and Bear. Uh, we have Kenny Burris uh, coming back, Carlos Brooks, Dave Walensky. I think those three youngsters are, are three tremendous defensive backs. Sean McClintock, BG24 Sports. And tomorrow we will have a look at the offense and how it's coping with a new line and overabundance of the running backs. So that does it for a Wednesday look at sports. Bob. Okay, thanks, Ray. And what about a prediction for this coming Saturday? I'll tell you what, it's, it's really hard to say. I think Bowling Green may give them a battle, though. I hope so. I hope so, too. Okay. Andrea. Well, joining us now with entertainment is Melissa Kravitz. Melissa, plenty going on this night in entertainment. There's a lot going on. Wood County Cable has a new station, and there's a university tea for all new women at the university. Well, Wood County Cable is getting ready to change its tune. Black Entertainment Television, better known as BET, will make its debut on the Wood Cable system around the first of the year. Wood County Cable has been purchased by Fans Communications, which will have more channels, including BET. Also, tomorrow night, the University Women of BGSU are sponsoring a newcomer's tea at the Wood County Historical Museum located on County Home Road. The purpose of the tea is for new women in Bowling Green who are part of the university to meet and get acquainted with other women. Tea time is set from 7 to 8 and anyone new is welcome to attend. Well, if you have some spare time but don't know where to spend it, the Student Organizations Fair has 104 ideas to help get you started. Here's BG24's Jennifer Meixner with the story. Interested students flock to the University Union to gather information on over 100 organizations here at Bowling Green. Everything from the People for Animal Welfare to the Ohio Student Education Association was represented. We have everything ranging from Friends of the Deaf to um, Mortar Board to there's some fraternities. Anything you can possibly think of, um, public relations committees, there's just 
such a wide variety here. This is the Ohio Student Education Association and basically it's an organization for education majors, people who are interested in the field of education and we promote um, dealing with issues in education, bringing in speakers. It's an awesome organization. It's very big on campus. There's about 400 members. I'm representing Volunteers in Progress and we're here to get more people because a lot of people don't know about us because we haven't been well known on campus, although at one point we were. Our name is the African American Graduate Student Association and we're open to any graduate students. I know the name sounds like it's just for black students, but any graduate student is um, invited to, to come out and be, be a part of our group. Glenhard Grand Ballroom is filled with 104 organizations today. Their goal to recruit new members. The Student Organizations Fair is a good way for students to see what Bowling Green has to offer. I'm Jennifer Meixner for BG24. Thank you, Melissa. Well, get out your umbrellas. We've just gotten word from the campus police department that we're currently experiencing heavy rain and thunderstorms. In addition, the National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch for all of northwest Ohio and west central Ohio until 10 p.m. tonight. So make sure you stay indoors, I guess. It looks scary, and after this summer, the kind of experience we had up here. I'm not mm -hmm. a good summer. Not taking any chances. Not a good summer. Well, we thank you for joining us on our first newscast, and we hope to see you back here every night at 530. Until then, have a great night. Good night. Good night.